Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ruth here again. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Okay, well here's our picture so far. We've just got a few more things we want to add. Um, before we do that, excuse me, um, I thought I would uh, maybe add some uh, Windows 10 tips to the beginning of this. <coughs> it's a new operating system we're using. So maybe there's a few things I can show you. Maybe you already know, maybe you don't. Um, all right, first thing, I noticed that uh, some people don't log off and they just shut the computer off instead. So let's look at how to log off in Windows 10. The uh, <clears throat> maybe easiest way to do it is to click on the Start button. That's that little window symbol in the bottom left corner. And go up to your name and click it. And here we have, we can lock the computer or we can sign ourselves out. So that's, that, that's one way to do it. Um, another way is we can use the old faithful Control-Alt-Delete, the three-finger salute. Hold Control and Alt down with two fingers on your left hand. In your right hand, just touch Delete. Boom. Brings up our, uh, our fabulous screen. And we can lock, switch, change password, etc. <coughs> um, another way we can do it is we can use um, something called the power uh, the power menu. To get to the power menu, you can either right click on the start menu, and this is what's known as the power menu, or you can hold the Windows key down. That's that little key on your bottom of your keyboard next to Alt and Control, and it looks like this. If I hold that down and I hit X, and it brings up this as well. <coughs> and you can see we have the uh, shutdown, sign out, and we can just sign out there. So there you have it several ways to log out. Cool. Okay, well let's get to our lesson. I'm thirsty here. <coughs> I don't want to make you jealous, but I've got some fabulous apple cider. Okay, let's um let's add an open grave to this. And I'm um, looking at this and I'm not really seeing any room, so I think what I'm going to do is take this gravestone and move it. So I'm going to go into my gravestone, my tombstone uh group folder and come down to tomb one and just double check that that is the right one that's that's tomb one and I'll just take my uh, movement thing and I'm just gonna move this over just because I wanna you know that's where I wanna put my little grave thing cool all right let's close that up and let's get our open grave so I'm gonna just open that up file open and you can see here I I didn't give it a very good name this is actually I think this is the name of the guy that created this file on the internet so anyway let's open that up it looks fabulous we will select it select all and let's copy it and let's bring it in let's paste it and you can see it's quite uh, large it's way too large for that. So let's shrink it down. And we know how to do that, right? Edit. Free transform. I'm going to hold the shift key down so this maintains its shape. You don't have to, but I'm just going to. Uh, sometimes I like to maintain the shape, sometimes I don't. And let's see what we've created here. If we do that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Except the gravestone looks, I don't know, looks a little small. Maybe I can expand that a little bit. Maybe I'll move that over a little. That little gravestone just looks so tiny there. Okay, so that looks nice. Um, maybe I'll move it down a little. Okay. Uh, now, clearly we got some problems. It's way too bright. So let's, uh, oh, and look at the tree. That crazy old tree. You see this left-hand tree? It's kind of behind it. Why don't we, let's move that. I'm going to move that left-hand tree above it. And uh, layer 5, what was that? That's This is uh, Open Grave 1, right? Open Grave 1. And now the tree... What did I do wrong there? Should the tree be behind it? 
Maybe this the tree just isn't in the way. No, I, uh, the tree should be in front of it. All right, let's see what happens if I take this open grave and move it over. Okay, I did. All right, sorry. It is behind the tree. Well, that looks nice. Okay, um, I think what I want to do now is I want to suck a little bit of the color out of this. So let's go in and add a couple of adjustment layers, um, mainly the hue saturation. And we will clip it, say OK, and then let's just bring the saturation down so that bright green isn't quite so obvious. There we go, let's get rid of a bunch of that. Uh, what do I got? Minus 65? Somewhere around there. Whatever looks good on yours. And then I think uh, it's a little bit bright, so we'll bring the, the lightness down a little. Okay, that looks cool. And what about minus 15? Maybe minus 20? Okay, somewhere in that ballpark. And then what I would like to do is add a, um, whatchamacallit, a mask to it and I just want to get rid of these hard edges. So I click on my open grave one and then I come down here and here is my um, layer mask. So I'll just add that. I've got black selected. Let me get my paintbrush and <clears throat> turn it down a little bit. Turn it to 50 or 60 or 70 or somewhere. Make sure the hardness is zero. And then you want to get rid of these little edges See the edges is just kind of painful to look at. We'll get rid of some of these edges. And get rid of some of that grass that's around it. Yeah, okay. That looks pretty good. Alright, so there's one. Um, why don't we put another tombstone maybe on the hill? Now, one of these problems that we keep getting is we keep... When I leave this layer selected, the next layer comes in right in here and then it gets in between the adjustment layer. So let's click up on the, on the uh, way up on the top layer so that we don't, when we bring another um, open grave in, it doesn't get, and it doesn't get messed up with these clipping layers. Okay, so I'm just, I just clicked on the top layer and I'm going to paste again because in my little uh, buffer area, I still have this open grave. Um, we're going to shrink it down, of course. Grabbing that old shift key, and we'll make it... Of course, it's going to be smaller because it's further away. And that looks good. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit so we can handle this. And uh, let's do the same deal. Let's suck the green out of it. We'll do layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation clipping layer and we'll just suck some of the green out of that. Maybe uh, pull a little bit of the lightness out. And then we're going to do the same deal. We're going to put a mask. Oh, this is uh, Open Grave 2, so let's so name it. Open Grave 2. And now uh, let's put that layer mask on there. And we're going to do the same deal. We've got our little paintbrush and we're just going to get rid of this some of this grass. Right, and just kind of make it look cool, you know? Don't don't hurt the shovel. The shovel looks really neat there. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We got some nice graves. Oh, we got all kinds of great stuff here. Okay, uh one more thing. Why don't we add some hmm we add anything else? Uh, well, why don't we call it a day on this one? Let's just stop. I know this is really short. <laughs> um, we'll stop this one and let's save. File save. Yeah, we didn't get too far in this one, did we? That's 11 o'clock. It's getting late. The football game's still going. The Cardinals are smushing the Jets. How sad. Uh, okay. So uh, thank you very much. Let's uh, we'll turn this off, and uh, I'll work on seven next.